Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and today I'm going to be playing Patchwork Doodle, which is a roll and write, kind of, version of Patchwork, and I'm joined today by Rachel again. You are? And we are going to be playing this, but you can play along with us if you would like. It's a game for one to six players, but really, there is a plus next to that in the rulebook, as many people could play this at once as you like. So all you need to do is, you need a nine by nine grid, you could print this if it's available online but you need a nine by nine grid you might need to draw some things for the special powers that you have but the first thing that you need to do before we get started like we've done is you would draw a card to start with and draw this shape on your sheet so there's four of them you can have one of them if you like and you can pause it can't you i don't need to leave these out for too long there's some more possibilities you could start with or you could start with those two as well. So pick one of those, draw it anywhere you like on your sheet, and you can just draw in pencil or whatever if you like, or you can be as colourful as you would like to be. And so the game is all about trying to make a patchwork quilt, trying to fill it up like the patchwork game, but there is scoring as we go through the game, and we do have some special powers that we can use. So the rules for drawing the patch, you can flip it, you can rotate it anywhere you like, you can't overlap something else, you can't draw it outside the boundaries, you know, they're standard stuff. And you never have to draw a patch either, it's optional, you can just skip the turn if you want to. So what we will do is, we've just randomly got eight cards here, this is going to be the round, there are going to be six cards from the round that we will play. And then there's going to be a scoring and we'll have three rounds where that happens. So we just randomly assorted this and the, the cowboy, <laughs> the patchwork cowboy, is going to decide what we're all going to draw. So he moves clockwise. One, two spaces, according to this die. It's either going to be one, two, or three. So you know every turn. So next turn, we know it's either going to be this piece, this piece, or this piece, which you can use to plan a little bit. For now, though, he's just given us this. It tells you how big the patch is that we're going to be drawing, but it's just going to be one square somewhere. So you score, it's worth showing this beforehand, you score a rectangle of spaces here. So in this example... This person has got a four by five. You make a square out of it. So you would do four times four, get 16 points and an extra point for the extra column there. Here with the long red rectangle, he's got a three by three square. So we'd get nine points and then one extra for each column, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you would be better off scoring the blue one. But that's how you're trying to arrange things to be the most effective in the intermediate scoring. And remember, you're going to lose a point for every empty square at the end of the game. You do have some powers as well that you can use at any time. So you can use this power. It's one and done, by the way, for each one. This power lets you choose the patch to the left or right of the one that we've picked. This one lets you just put a one square in, a size one square. This one lets you chop a piece in half and just place one of the pieces. Yeah, it doesn't actually ha doesn't have to be exactly in half, but yeah, you can you can cut patch one into any of two, four, five, and six, but not number three because that would mean you have cut these two ends off and you've cut it into three pieces. You can only cut it into two different pieces, and you place one of those pieces, but not both. And the final uh, power that you've got is use one of the other ones again. So with that in mind, let's get going. Oh, I don't, I don't want to use a power this early on, I don't think. I'm going to go for... I think I've grabbed the exact same color again. I'm going to grab a different color. Let's just put it in here. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to be coming up. There we go. Remember, everybody gets the same patch and decides to do whatever they want with it. Okay. Okay then, so we can go on to patch two. So it's one more, and it's gonna be this one. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So grab another color, and I think I'm gonna put it on the end here and cap off the end. Fast forward through this coloring bit. Okay, there we go. So that's another piece done. That's two. Roll the die again for him. <laughs> the next one again. Okay, so where would it be good for this? And you can, you know, grab the card and stuff and have a look. What if we did some big stairs up this way? So let me just rotate it so I'm drawing it right. Do up there. 
and there, and then there. Okay, and go on to the next one. So, oh, he's going two this time. So he's grabbing this piece. There is a little, uh, a little thing in the corner as well showing you what the mirror version of it is. To help you imagine it a bit better. Oh, I think, I think over here would be good. If we did this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We're getting a nice, almost square in the corner. I might have to use my power to put a one cube there, maybe. Okay, so that goes away. And how many have we had? Is that four? That's four. So two more to come this round. It's going one, two. Hmm. No, that's not ideal. Now, I could, of course, say I want one of the other ones. But I don't think I'm prepared to do that just yet. We could do this and just... Oh, wow, that's not a good color at all, is it, for camera? Go for it. Go for a deeper blue. There we go. Yeah, but I might not be able to see it. So yeah, we're just going to have to hope that that shape comes in here later. Okay, so that one's done with. And the final piece. It's a one. So he's going for there. And you can, you know, you can decide to use your power to get one of these instead. And I think I'm going to use my special power to get a single square just so I can fill in a rectangle here. And Rach is copying my idea. So, for intermediate scoring now, we're going to look at this square here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five. So no extra columns. So that's just 25 points for me. Boom. Done. Rach, what have you got? Have you done the exact same? So Rachel's got the option of doing a five by five square, or she can do a four by six, but that would just score four times four, 16 plus two, which is 18. Whereas if she goes for the five by five square, she'll get 25 like me. So that's what I assume she'll do. Okay, these are now out. Oh no, we keep these two, don't we? Yes, we do. We keep these two and draw six new ones to make the circle up again. And so they want to be in front of the token. Here we go. So really, you've got a two out of three chance that one of the ones you were looking at before is going to be the next one. So you can, you can do some planning in this one. So what are we going for? We're going for two, one, two. Yeah, it's not a great one. We do have powers to change it, though. I think I'm going to, ch I'm going to use my change it power. I'm going to draw this one instead. Now, you don't get rid of the card or anything. It's just for you that it's changing. So I'm going to draw this up here. Okay, this one does go, though, because it was the chosen one. And then the dice comes in again. One, two, three. I really want that one to come up next. Oh, this is another rough one. I can't fit it down here. I'd have to put it up here somewhere. Which I can do, but... Yeah, another one that's not really great. I think I'm going to snip it up. I'm going to cut off this top bit so it's just a great big long five piece. And I'm going to go like this. Should have swapped colors. Okay then, so back to the cowboy. And he is going for one, two. Hmm, is that a good piece? I'm going to move and do the one next to it. Now, I could gamble that we're going to go around again. Because I really want this one. I, I don't know if there's another one of those in the deck. I don't want to miss that because of the space that I'm going. So I think I'm going to reuse a, a power. And I'm going to remember to swap my color. So I've, I've used all of my powers now. 
I'm at the mercy of whatever comes out. But I have got a nice square going there. Okay, this piece goes away. And we have that one next. Oh, that's quite nice for me. I think that, yeah, just the way that is, I'm going to fit this in quite nicely here. Okay. I'm happy with how this has gone, but I'm pretty closed in now. It's going to start being a lot of pieces I cannot place. One, two, three is this one. Now, what would be perfect for me, this is a bit of a gamble, but I could place this here and then hope that this one's next. And then that would fill in that gap. But I don't know if there's another card that does that in the deck if this doesn't pan out for me. Going to go for it, though. Okay, next one. So this, this is the last one from this round again. I really need a one. <gasps> oh, it's nearly a one. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. It's this one again. I don't think I like this one anymore. I really liked it before. You can choose to just not draw anything. I think we've, we've got a whole round. We've got six more shapes. I think that would get in the way more than it would help me. So I'm going to pass on that one. Rachel's going to go for it. Okay, then. So that's gone. Get him ready next to those. And we need to do intermediate scoring. So I think the best thing for me is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times six, 36, plus one for the extra column is 37. Rach, what is going on over there? Uh, six times five. So, so, you got, times five. so you got 26 for that round. Not good, not good. I spread out too much. You might be able to fill in your entire thing though. You've got a lot of one gaps though. Yeah. So we need some more cards now. This is the last round. So one special thing that you need to know for the very last turn of the game is that you get your choice of the three that are available. So there's no point saving this power up for the very last turn if you've still got it there. So let's see what the Cowboy's going to pick for us this time. Yes. And, oh, I want, I want this. Oh, there's two opportunities for me to get the piece I want. There's, there's a one as well for Rach. So I'm not particularly happy about that. I think let's let's place it up here. These are quite small pieces that have come out this round. So I might well regret, actually. I, I kind of regret not taking that piece at the, the end of last round. Knowing now that all of these were going to be small, I probably could have worked around that piece. But we'll see if that is really bad for me. Okay, then. That's gone. Next up, Cowboy says, that one. So I think... I'm just worried about where I'm placing here for cutting this off. If this comes out, I kind of want to be able to place it because it's a lot of... It's a lot of things to fill in. So I think I'm going to fill it in this one, kind of flat along here. And leave gaps for everything else. Okay, let's see what the Patchwork Cowboy says. It is the one. I'm kind of thinking of this big square first and foremost. So I'm going to fill this in like that. If I can get two of those two by ones, brilliant. But if I can't, I'll hopefully be able to make this. If another three, if a, the one comes out and another three, I'll have an eight by eight square, which is pretty good going. You can fill the whole thing in though. That's what you want. Oh, no, I've filled in an extra. I shouldn't have filled in these two. Okay, we'll remember. Those two are empty. Some cheating going on here. I'll be reminded in the subtitles. If, if neither of these come out, which is possible. Well, actually, in the last turn, you, you're, I'm absolutely going to get one of them. Because even if they don't get rolled, in the last turn, you get to pick out of what's available. So he goes away. 
we roll three. One, two, three. Brilliant. So I'll just have that as what, I've, what I just did by mistake. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance of filling in the entire thing now for me anyway. So, we have one, two, and you're going to get the pick of one of these for your last one. You've still got a power. So I'm kind of thinking my last choice is probably going to be that. Is it though? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, last one. No, it doesn't matter. We don't need to roll. So you get your pick of one of these three because it's the very last turn of the game. So make your choice. I think I'm gonna le I'm gonna abandon this gap in the corner here, and Peach was probably not a great choice. It's filled in though, I promise. And there we go. So my final thing. I think me and Rachel have got the same thing. We've got eight by eights, right? I know you've got a nine by eight because Rachel's just got one column that doesn't count. So Rachel's got a 9 by 8, so 8 times 8 is 64, plus 1. Rachel's got 65 for her last round. I have got 8 by 8, so that's 64. Minus your empty spaces, I've got 2, 4, 6 empty spaces. 1 point for each empty space. And so I've got 64, 71, 101, 126. 120 is my final score. Rach, one, one, four. So very, very close still. That, that, second, second, that round, second round did it. So yeah, just about managed to win Patchwork Doodle. But how did you go? Share, how did you get on? What was your score? Your yeah, send us photos on Twitter or Instagram or something. The links for all of the social media things are in the description. Let's see what things you drew because yeah, where's our, our, our previous attempts are under here? The, yeah, we've, we've, we've tried much harder with coloring pencils and stuff. In previous games, but yeah, Rage Ray still did a proper job of colouring. I was doing an impressionist piece. So yeah, let us know how you got on, if you played along with us. If you didn't play along with us, why not? Start the video again and play along with us. We demand it. If you'd like to know what I think about Patchwork Doodle, the link's coming up very, very soon. If you'd like to see some other playthroughs, there's loads on the channel. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Videos are only possible though because Patreon campaign, if you'd like to help out, support the channel, keep it going and get a say in what gets made, then it's patreon.com slash slickerdrips. But thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.